In part 1 of this video, we covered the different fabric extension options for single-site ACI implementations. Now, let's take a brief look at how we can extend the networks across multiple ACI sites using Nexus Dashboard. As mentioned before, you may have multiple ACI sites, clouds, and potentially NXOS networks that may need connectivity between them. Therefore, maintaining operational consolidation, automation, and visibility with a global scope is highly desirable. This is where the Nexus dashboard comes in. Whether you decide to run it as physical or virtual appliance, in the cloud, or even as SaaS, Nexus Dashboard is a connectivity services platform that aggregates your ACI sites, whether on-prem or in the cloud, and your NXOS-based ones, providing additional automation and management services for all of them. Each Nexus Dashboard service can be enabled with a single click through its service catalog, providing a cloud experience and consolidating multiple tools that would previously need independent installation and maintenance as one. There are multiple services and integrations that can be enabled on Nexus Dashboard, such as Insights, which provide consolidated visibility for all your sites and delivers a smart correlation with predictive analytics and self-healing networks. Or Orchestrator, which automates data center interconnect and cloud interconnect across sites with a single and consistent policy model. Or Data Broker, which automates TAP and span aggregation for scalable monitoring solutions. In addition, Nexus Dashboard can integrate to multiple Cisco and non-Cisco products such as AppDynamics, ServiceNow, Terraform, and VMware to name a few, delivering a consolidated operational model that can be normalized across clouds. Our objective for today's chapter is to get an overview of how multiple ACI sites can be connected automatically. Therefore, we will focus on the Nexus Dashboard Orchestrator service. However, if you're interested in learning more about other services, I will be posting a new series of videos focusing on the Nexus dashboard, so stay tuned. Previously, in order to provide high availability across data centers, organizations would need to invest in dedicated and often expensive data center interconnect technologies such as dark fiber RONs, Ethernet over MPLS, and LAN-to-LAN -LAN links to name a few, which would not only impact their budget, but would also require manual configurations and maintenance, slowing down their ability to scale and distribute workloads in different geographies. Now, Nexus Dashboard Orchestrator, which was previously known as Multi-Site Orchestrator, can create multi-site architectures in minutes, enabling the network to provide business continuity, disaster recovery on-prem and in the cloud, plus many more. When we run Nexus Dashboard and enable its orchestrator service, we can onboard multiple ACI sites by simply providing each APIC or APIC cluster credentials, and then Orchestrator will fully automate data center and cloud interconnect by creating MPBGP, EVPN, VXLAN networks across them. Physical network configuration and local VXLAN automation still happens within each ACI site. Nexus dashboard is simply dealing with the interconnect between those sites and clouds and centralizing the logical network configuration for all of them as you will see in the configuration chapters. To accomplish this automated VXLAN interconnect, we only need a routed network between sites, which enables layer 2 extension and seamless VM mobility across on-prem sites, as well as accelerated cloud migrations by configuring and securing a single logical network. The general requirements to successfully allow multiple ACI sites to be interconnected and provisioned by Nexus Dashboard Orchestrator are simple. We need an intermediate routed network between your ACI sites, which should be able to accommodate at least an extra 50-byte MTU capacity based on your payload, since a VXLAN header will be added to traffic entering and leaving each ACI site. As mentioned before, each ACI site will keep their control plane and local VXLAN data plane completely independent from Nexus dashboard and the other sites, providing isolation in case something goes wrong. Nexus dashboard orchestrator will simply connect to each APIC or APIC cluster and configure them using their APIs. Therefore, you want to make sure that you have up to one second in round trip time between your Nexus dashboard and each APIC cluster. This makes multi-site topology suitable for fabric extension across large geographical distances where multipod may not be an option. 
Let's now get a bit more specific in the different scenarios where we could implement multi-site topologies, starting with on-prem. Let's imagine we have a couple of ACI sites, Boston and Texas, and you need to extend the network between them. Nexus Dashboard Orchestrator can help automating MPPGP VPN VXLAN between them. You could still run multipod in either site if you wanted to. Why would you do this? Well, the answer is simple. Let's think about the public cloud for a second. Usually, in the public cloud, you have regions and availability zones. Regions protect you from failure in a specific geo, while availability zones protect you in case there are power outages or data center problems in a specific region. In this case, we would be following the same model, with each ACI site behaving as a region and each pod as an availability zone. Back to our example, if you only have two sites and won't scale any further, you could implement multi-site back-to-back, where you only need to provide physical connectivity between spines on each site, and then Nexus Dashboard Orchestrator will take care of automating the OSPF underlay and VXLAN overlay between sites. This is very useful for data center migration, VM mobility, and active-active or active standby deployments where high bandwidth implementations are a must. Another advantage this and any other multi-site implementation brings is that we can centralize the logical network configuration where policies are defined and then push those changes to each site in different phases if we'd like, providing more control. This behavior is different from multi-pod, where all the tenants, EPGs, and contracts you create and change are pushed at once since all your pods and remote leaf nodes are under a single APIC or APIC cluster. Now, if you have a larger distance between sites, or if you need to scale beyond two sites and up to 12 sites, Nexus Dashboard Orchestrator will need you to use an intermediate routed network called Intersite Network or ISN. Just like with multipod IPN, the ISN first hop devices will connect to the spines on each site using OSPF on VLAN 4. However, in this case, no multicast nor DHCP relay is needed, making the configuration and requirements much simpler. With this approach, you can now connect multiple ACI sites or data centers even globally across the world under a single pane of glass. It is important to mention that if you're currently running multipod and you have an existing IPN, you could reuse it to behave as an ISN as well. Switching gears, you may remember we also have cloud ACI sites, right? Well, in such case, multi-site architectures also play an important role here. Let's start with cloud-only deployments. If you remember, when we covered Cloud ACI, we mentioned that one of its objectives was to normalize the networking operational model across on-prem and multiple cloud providers. So, if you have Cloud ACI running on AWS and Azure, for example, and you connect Nexus Dashboard Orchestrator to your Cloud APIC running on each of them, you can automatically interconnect both clouds in a few seconds leveraging the automatically deployed CSR 1000 Vs on each cloud and configuring IPsec, OSPF, and MPBGP VPN VXLAN across them. This is very convenient when you have to manage, connect, and configure multiple clouds in a consistently secure way, or when you are planning to migrate or failover between clouds following a configure once, deploy anywhere model. If we take this same concept to hybrid cloud deployments now, Nexus Dashboard Orchestrator would also connect to each APIC on-prem and in the cloud, automating IPsec tunnels between the CSRs in the cloud and a VPN termination device on-prem, enabling OSPF and MPBGP eVPN VXLAN across all of them. With this model, you can scale up to 12 sites as well. Keep in mind that on the on-prem site, you would still need to account for an ISN device pair with OSPF configured on VLAN 4 for the first hub devices which would be connected to the VPN termination devices you choose. This scenario is commonly implemented for cloud migration, disaster recovery as a service, and hybrid cloud integrations, delivering a consolidated management tool with consistent security and a common operation model across clouds. In addition to the embedded automation Nexus Dashboard and ACI provide, you can always use your own infrastructure as code tool of choice, such as Terraform or Ansible to normalize your cloud experience anywhere your business takes you. But it is not only about automation and faster time to innovation. 
by implementing a multi-site architecture, you're increasing your service availability under a consistent security model, since multiple sites or regions and availability zones or pods can now be treated as a single logical network leveraging ACI L4L7 services integration under a single and consolidated management through the Nexus Software Orchestrator, Insights, and all its services. As a summary, connectivity is a service, and it should be provisioned, managed, and secured consistently anywhere. Having multiple sites and clouds has traditionally complicated how we deliver networking services to apps, users, and devices. And with Nexus Dashboard, we can now normalize the cloud operational model, automating network configurations, and consolidating management, visibility, and smart correlation across both ACI and NXOS networks, whether running on-prem or in the cloud. ACI provides you with a better, simpler, and secure network, any size, anywhere, and on any cloud. If you want to learn more about other common tasks and how ACI radically simplifies network provisioning and operations, please watch the rest of the videos in this series. Thanks for watching.